What's going on, everybody? Uh, I just feel like to come on here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I'm going to just pray for I even speak. Father God, I pray that you just speak to me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I pray, Lord, you give me the words to say. And let me pray, man. Uh, I just feel like to come up on here. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, you know, sometimes in life, you know, life will knock you down. You know what I'm saying? Life will knock you down to your knees, till you ain't got nothing left. You know what I'm saying? Uh, one thing that I learned is, you know, trying to do things how God wants you to, trying to stand firm on his word, Chase after the spiritual things, not the things of the flesh, you know. It's good that you do that, but you can't deny the attacks that's going to come with it. You know what I'm saying? You know, for example, uh, you know, like, you know, I can give you an example, like, you know, stress, anxiety, worry, depression. Even suicidal thoughts, you know what I'm saying? See, it's one thing for somebody to be bound by these things, but it's a whole another thing when you just going through life, you trying to follow the Lord, and then, you know, you get attacked with these things. See, we can be free from stuff, but that don't mean we're not going to still get attacked with the stuff that, you know, we got free from, you know what I'm saying? You know, we not always gonna understand why God do the things that he do. But the reason why he do the things that he do that we don't understand is because he want the testimony so that way when we go in about life and somebody come to us and ask, and ask us how do we get through it, we could tell them, God did X, Y, and Z, bam, 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 boom. You feel me? It's been a lot of times where, especially in this season, like, you know, I just question the Lord so much because I'm like, you know, why would you even allow all this stuff to happen? You know, but I had to realize it's not about me. It's, it's about the bigger picture. It's about my family. You know, it's about my children. You know what I'm saying? You know, when you when you going through the storm, it's easier said than done. You know, keep your eyes focused on him, not the storm. But it's hard to do that when you the one going through it. You feel me? And that's 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 what I tell people all the time. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm like, you know, I be finding myself having so much compassion for folks because I know what it's like being in the darkness, being in the wilderness, being in the slums. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, I know what it's like. You know, I know what it's like, you know. Um, and I can testify, you feel me? Like, you know, I remember, you know, I remember when um when I first started doing YouTube, you know what I'm saying? My stuff started blowing up, you know, and then found my wife, got married, stuff was going good, and everything started going downhill. And it was all according to, the, you know, the will of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? And I remember, you know, uh, it was just crazy because it was like, you know, the apartment we was in, the people, they scammed us. And then we had to go to Nebraska, back to where she lived, and when she, you know, we had to get up out of there. You know what I'm saying? I bet my wife got pregnant. She got pregnant. She caught COVID. Then, you know, it was a situation that occurred and then. She almost had a miscarriage, you know what I'm saying? Then we had to end up, you know, Going to Chicago, back in the same area that I grew up in, which was, was wasn't good. You know, folks was having shootouts outside my crib since I was little, and they were still doing it. You know what I'm saying? And then, um, you know, I just remember, you know, one time, bro, like, it was like 3 in the morning, the Lord woke me up, and he said, you know, the devil tried to take your life tonight, but I wouldn't allow it. Ten minutes later, I heard gunshots going off. I got my family on the floor. Then all of a sudden, I heard 
somebody shaking the fence in our yard and they hopped over, they started walking in the lawn. It was crackheads, you know what I'm saying? Where we was at, always shaking the garbage can, trying to find, trying to find some in the garbage can, you know what I'm saying? Um, then, you know, my, 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 my son, <coughs> you know, he ended up being born, you know, and he almost died in the hospital. He, you know, they had him in incubator and he started choking all the, the tubes he was up to, hooked up to, the alarm started going off, you know, and then, you know, I just remember we were trying to move to Texas, trying to move, trying to move, trying to move, and then, you know, this why I don't ever post my location no more, you know what I'm saying? I remember witches was trying to, witches saw my location when I posted the Instagram picture. All of a sudden, these wasps, they started appearing in the house, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, bro, where are these wasps coming from? And then I literally seen a wasp appear out of thin air. I already knew it was witchcraft. Then, you know, we, it was so many times we had to stay at hotels because you know, I didn't want my family having to hear people constantly shoot. Even on 4th of July, I said, we're going to go to a hotel. You know, then I remember we applying for houses, applied for one, got denied, applied for another one, got denied, and then we had to stay in the hotel for about a week, you know, and then I remember as we there, I remember, you know, I'm picking up my daughter from school, and, you know, my wife called me, she said, we got to leave because they kicked us out. I'm mad, I'm ready to cuss the lady out, they kicked her out. And the Lord told me, he said, when you get your stuff, go minister to her. I ain't do it. I said, I ain't about to minister to her. Grab all our stuff, we leave. And my wife looked at me, she said, I left my Apple Watch in the hotel room. So God kind of told me, he said, you ain't going to leave here unless you minister to her. Minister to the lady. Then all of a sudden, after we leave, we had to go find another hotel. I get out the car and got an email on my phone. So you got approved for the house. I start busting up laughing, you know, you would have think, oh, well, that's a happy ending. Man, my son, he almost died again, man, started choking, his face turned blue, we had to call 911, you know what I'm saying? And um, these is just, that was just like a quick run through, you feel me, of, that was just like a quick run through of, but like, even still, like, just the other day, my son almost same thing, I almost died again, had to call 911. We've been going through all these type of attacks and stuff like that. And the thing is, what I learned is, again, we won't ever really understand God because his ways is not always, his thoughts is not our thoughts. Sometimes when we think God taking too long, he actually doing stuff quick. We just going through this process of just waiting on the Lord, you know. And I'm reminded of the scripture said, those that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength, they shall mount on wings like eagles. You feel me? And it's like, you know, when you when you walk, when you living in life, you trying to walk this thing out. I promise you, bro, this thing is not, this is not for people that get easily discouraged. You know, this is for like the lion hearted, you know, and I, I, you know, I wish this thing was easy, but, you know, nothing good come easy, if that makes sense, you know. We've been waiting for a breakthrough, and, you know, we got faith what's going to happen. It's just, you know, only time will tell, because the Lord is the one that blesses in due time. You feel me? And my advice to y'all is, if you if you in the fight right now, if you're going through spiritual warfare, if you're going through anything, take heed, stand firm on the word of God, you feel me? Put on the armor of God, the breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, the boots of peace, the, you know. Um, it's like, again, it's okay to feel anxious, nervous, fearful at times because it's attacking you. But just because it's attacking you don't mean that's something that you deal with. The way you make them attacks flee. You say, it is written, man, shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. You feel me? And I say this because, you know, I know what it's like going through warfare, going through this walk, you know what I'm saying? Being lonely, having all these thoughts, trying to figure out why I gotta go through this. You was born for such a time as this. If you living in the end times, you have one of the most important calls 
the world has ever seen. You know, the stage is literally being set. You feel me? Again, when life knock you down, bro, and it's not always gonna be the enemy. Sometimes stuff just happen, and a little loud stuff just happen. The thing is, when you, when we walk in this walkout, bro, always keep your peace. Don't let nobody disturb your peace. You know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody disturb your peace. You know, Jesus Christ is the one that give you perfect peace. Money can't fill you, sex can't fill you, clothes, cars, material stuff, can't none of that stuff fill you, what? Video games, can't none of that stuff fill you. I can tell you how many times I play my game and I'm just bored, I'm tired, you know what I'm saying? Because we always chasing the new thing, the next 2K, the next Madden. But when you chase Jesus, you get fulfilled. You feel me? Lily, I can't, I can't tell you how many, mosquito. I can't tell you how many times, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when I was in the world, it was just like, I just felt empty. I just felt like I was just chasing stuff. And I'm just like, why I can't be happy? Why I can't just have peace? And I always felt convicted. It's the Lord, bro. You know, the Lord never called us to be of the world, but he called us to be in it, but not of it. You know what I'm saying? Um, when you when you when you live in this thing, bro, find something that makes you happy. Obviously, the Lord make you happy. But find something. Find a hobby. Go do boxing. Go go play basketball. Go do soccer. Go read a book. You know what I'm saying? Go explore downtown and go explore your city, wherever you're from. Go to the beach or something. You feel me? And the reason I say these things, bro, is because hobbies help. You know, I'm pretty sure Jesus had hobbies when he was walking on this earth. He wasn't just no carpenter. He did stuff. He had fun with folks. You feel me? This walk, man, it's, 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 it's literally, it's for those that persevere. It's for those that endure to the end shall be saved. You know? So my advice to y'all is continue your hardest to do what he calls you to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, things may get tough, things don't come easy, but it's going to be worth it at the end of the day. You feel me? Uh, but I encourage y'all, man. Stand firm on the word of the Lord. You know? Uh, following God, it may not be easy, but it's worth it. I promise you it's worth it. You know? Uh, and again, especially like, you know, if you... Like a young person, you living in the end times. Come on, bro. You already know God calls you, for sure. You know, so. Yeah, man, that's my advice to you, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, God bless y'all, man.